Live from CBS 4, this is your News Now. We begin with the most consequential Supreme Court decision in decades. Roe versus Wade is no longer the law of the land. The justices voting today to end the constitutional protection for abortion that's been in place for 50 years. That ruling is leading to immediate changes and protests across the nation on both sides of the issue. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Debbie Knox. And I'm Bob Donaldson. Today's ruling sends the abortion rights issue back to individual states. Governor Holcomb expects the Indiana General Assembly will discuss the issue in a special session previously scheduled for July 6th. Many experts say Indiana is one of the states likely to restrict abortions. In 1973, Roe v. Wade ruled women have a constitutional right to an abortion. Today, the Supreme Court's conservative supermajority overturned that decision. The high court ruled 6-3 to three that a Mississippi law that forbids abortion after 15 weeks of pregnancy is constitutional. The decision to overturn Roe specifically was a 5-4 to four ruling with Chief Justice John Roberts voting with the court's more liberal justices. Now we have team coverage tonight on every aspect of the story. We begin with State House reporter Kristen Eskow, who joins us live right now. And Kristen, Indiana lawmakers could take this action very soon. Well, that's right, Debbie. Lawmakers will be back here at the State House in less than two weeks. Governor Eric Holcomb has called a special session July 6th for lawmakers to work on his inflation relief plan, but now he says they will discuss abortion as well. Following the Supreme Court's ruling to overturn Roe v. Wade, Indiana lawmakers could pass new limits on abortion as soon as next month. Earlier this year, 100 Republican lawmakers, or two-thirds of the Indiana legislature, asked Governor Eric Holcomb for a special session on abortion if the court allows states to choose their own abortion laws. State House Democrats say they're concerned about the potential consequences for some pregnant women. They are more likely to, to go into poverty or stay in poverty. Their children will more likely be in poverty. In the months leading up to Friday's ruling, Governor Eric Holcomb and Republican legislative leaders have declined to say whether they want to pass a total abortion ban or allow certain exceptions, such as cases of rape, incest, or risk to the mother's life. They did not provide interviews Friday, nor specifics about their plans. Holcomb said in a statement in part, quote, I have been clear in stating I am pro-life. We have an opportunity to make progress in protecting the sanctity of life, and that's exactly what we will do. House Speaker Todd Houston echoed those thoughts in his statement, adding, quote, While it's too early to speculate on what form legislation may take, I strongly believe we'll couple any action with expanding resources and services to support pregnant mothers and care for their babies before and after birth. Democrats argue there are many services and policies lawmakers need to consider to support mothers. We need to make sure that we are talking about parental leave. We need to make sure that we have in place Medicaid coverage. That's not clear exactly how quickly lawmakers would be able to pass new abortion limits. Right now, the special session is scheduled for July 6th, but it could take some more time beyond that for lawmakers to pass a bill and then have that bill signed into law. Now, lawmakers say they will have public testimony and committee hearings all collected as they normally do when a bill is passed here at the State House. For now, we're live at the State House this evening. Kristen Eskow, CBS 4 News. All right, Kristen, thank you.